Hello, my name is Sean Harding and I'm a neonatal consultant at University College Hospital in London. Um, I've been a consultant since 1997. Um, neonatology is a very procedure intensive specialty and during the course of their stays in the neonatal unit, our babies are subjected to hundreds of different procedures, most of which are painful. So first and foremost, we should pay attention um, to the baby's needs and think about how we can reduce um, their experience through using proper developmental care, positioning babies during procedures, giving them comfort devices such as breastfeeding during phlebotomy, um, giving them sucrose for um, uh, pain distraction, um, and uh, obviously giving them more adequate analgesia for the, what we know are the very painful um, procedures such as insertion or removal of chest strain. Um, I think in order to be good at doing procedures, you firstly need to have a really sound knowledge of anatomy in uh, the baby. That's particularly important for things like line placement and uh, a knowledge, for instance, of where the different branches from the aorta arise is fundamental in understanding why we position line tips where we do, which is in, in, in the case of a UAC, for instance, above the diaphragm. Um, I think that uh, it's also important to prepare properly for any procedure, making sure that you have all the equipment that you need to hand, and also using really meticulous um, uh, infection control um, procedures. So basics like really good hand washing are critical, using gloves for every procedure, even if they're no touch technique. Um, and then formally um, scrubbing up and wearing gowns and hats and masks for the more invasive lines that we insert or chest strains. Um, I think it's uh, one of the things that I always think is that when you're doing the, those invasive procedures, you should really be using um, the same sort of approach that a surgeon would use in a theatre uh, so that you lay out your trolley in an orderly fashion you don't put dirty swabs back onto your sterile field. And um, uh, you have all your equipment, as I said, laid out in the order that you're likely to use it so it's easy to reach for the next instrument that you need. Um, I think you need, as juniors, to maximise your opportunities to learn how to do procedures from the moment you start doing neonatology. There's a lot of competition now um, to do procedures, both between... SHOs and registrars and also other um, professionals such as ANNPs who are often are permanent members of staff who have very good skills. They're excellent for helping to supervise you when you're learning um, but uh, I still think that you need to be um, uh, pushing yourself forward to get those opportunities. It's useful to keep a proper log of all the procedures that you've done so that if uh, you're not gaining the experience you need, you can bring that to the attention of your educational supervisor. One of the important things to remember is that there's a very steep learning curve for learning uh, procedures and don't expect to be successful at, uh, at on every occasion. I, I always tell people that you should expect to be successful no more than 50% of the time when you're learning these techniques and the important thing is to know when to stop and to ask for help and uh, to, to, if necessary, hand over um, the procedure to somebody who is more experienced. Um, so know your limits, know when to ask for help and don't be embarrassed about asking for help. We've all been there. I think that's really important to remember. Um, some of the skills that you'll learn during the procedures beyond the uh, procedure itself are how to communicate clearly and in simple language to parents about the procedure you're going to perform and also to remember to report back to them after you've done that procedure. There are some instances where you may have to perform a procedure on a baby before you've um, uh, managed to talk to the parents. An example of that might be a baby who collapses with a pneumothorax. Uh, as soon as you've treated that pneumothorax and put the chest strain in, um, I, I think you need to go immediately and talk to the parents or phone them and explain what's happened. It's really important to, to keep parents in the loop. Um, so um, you'll also gain skills as you become more experienced in teaching and supervising more junior colleagues. 
um, and that can begin to um, go towards your sort of portfolio of educational achievements and I think you can also um, develop your leadership skills in managing um, your junior staff and looking um, at, at how to manage um, the baby by making decisions about when and where um, these procedures should be done and how you run your daily shift. Um, it's important that there's proper documentation and I think there should be uh, procedure sheets developed so that there's a sort of succinct recording of what's happened and clearly if there are any complications that needs to be properly documented. Also if things go wrong we need to be open and honest with the parents. It's important to um, follow uh, the rules about duty of candour and also to think about um, escalating uh, any any adverse uh, incidents to your senior colleagues um, and uh, obviously uh, in, in looking into whether um, such incidents could be avoided is, is incredibly important. Um, so um, I think um, neonatology is lots of fun. Part of what makes it fun is the hands-on uh, care. I think everybody, given the right opportunities, can develop really good skills in this specialty. And um, I hope this um, video will help to inspire you.